I, I never work on high notes. Really? I never did, no. I never did, I, 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 I don't do it, and I never will. Wow. Because I don't believe in those things. <laughs> on range I don't agree with that <laughs> <laughs> no I, I mean I'm serious I, I, I when I was start playing the trumpet man I remember I was playing for years I weren't able to play high at all really no, I was playing for years and I was struggling to play the, the high C or a D or something. Only about a stop, you know. Yeah, and I, 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 I weren't at all like a natural thing to play high like other guys, you know, like Maynard or Wayne or those guys. They really, since they were young, they, they mm -hmm. were able to play. That wasn't me. Really? No, no. I would have never guessed seems so natural to you. Mm -mm. Not at all. Not at all. No, no. What I strongly believe is I am a product of uh, strong discipline and hard work and dedication. Because I'm, I'm, I play Low too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you play, play in the trombone range. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. For me, and I, I tried to know to to make every. Oh, oh, this is gonna gonna sound good with this. I try to incorporate all the notes. You know, mm -hmm. don't leave it. The, some people believe the end of the trumpet is the F sharp. Okay. It's like two more octaves down there. Mm -hmm. Two more. Yeah, and uh, incorporate all those things to your regular plane. I mean, don't see those. Actually, I don't like how the people call pedal tones. I see. I don't like that. I call that low notes. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little lower than others. For example, what's um, this is high and this is low. But um, we don't call this pedal. We call that low notes. You're right. Yeah, and um, my wish, my dream, is to have at least 88 notes mm. on my disposable to mm. use it mm. on the horn. I wish. <laughs> so when you were working the, the high range, it was it was a struggle at first. I, yeah, but I I never work on high notes. Really? I never did. No. I never did, I, 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 I don't do it, and I never will. Wow. Because I don't believe in those things. Uh -huh. And I believe, strongly believe in the general preparation. You have to get ready. You have to put your skill together, and, and you have to <clears throat> develop your abilities practicing properly. Ah. And I, for example, when I practice, I should put it here, and stand with, but we're gonna do it later. Uh -huh. Stand with, with the books I use, the regular books that everybody know. It's no secret. It's not a trick. It's believe me. It's dedication, dedication, passion, commitment, desire, 
mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and discipline, mm-hmm. discipline. And um, I use the regular books that everybody use, Arban, Clark, a little bit of Caruso, mm-hmm. uh, Claude Gordon, mm-hmm. Doc Chiser, Timo Fay, Doc Chiser book, yeah. which is a, a wonderful book. And um, all those books that uh, Charles Collin, the things that everybody know. So when you're... When you're I practice, my, I, my th- thing is to cover as many aspects that we need to cover. For example, the sound mm-hmm. is first priority, always. Mm-hmm. Sound, articulation, legato, tonguing, double tonguing, triple tonguing, flexibility. <laughs> things you know all those kind of things we need to mm-hmm. because our mission is to be ready to be prepared to do what you don't know when you're a professional musician you go to a gig or a recording session or something most of the time you don't know what you're gonna find in front of you and the only thing you could do to be safe is be ready, ah. be prepared mm-hmm. to anything. Could be, you could find a recording of, um, you go to a session. Mm. You did it okay, and then you come the day after, and say, man, that's a piece of cake. I don't have to take care of it. And you go out that night, get a little drunk, get up late, get to the studio in the last minute because you feel confidence that's going to be a piece of cake. And then when you get there, you open your book, you say, oh, oh, <laughs> that's different than yesterday. What are you going to do now? Then you see one thing there. prepare yourself well mm-hmm. and you didn't warm up properly and then you're gonna be in trouble and then it's only one thing to to be safe be ready mm. be ready to do what, what we have to do so when you feel that you're playing the trumpet efficiently is that when you feel that the whole range of the horn will just come out naturally is or uh, you know what Miles, Miles Davis used to say? He, 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 he said that uh, he, he checked his F chart. He said that he, if he got, in the beginning, he got a good F chart. He was good. Really? <laughs> you said that you never worked on high notes, but they come out now. So was it because you were playing the trumpet, you learned how to play it efficiently? Is that how they ended up incorporating in their way in your playing? I think so. As much as I took the things seriously, and I pra- practiced efficiently, and I use all the resources and all the books and all the things and a good school of great teachers over the years who really developed and create all those books for us, for our own convenience. As long as you get deep on that, 
you're gonna feel your playing is more efficient mm. and it's more you know mm. the sound came out the fundamentals better the fundamental oh yeah 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah for example we have a in the jazz fan some people believe in the shortcuts <laughs> uh, I'm not a big fan of shortcuts mm. I believe it's only one way yeah and is um, for example I, 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 I got students in the past who were complaining in the school where I used to teach years ago that I was, uh, they came to the office of the director of the school or something complaining that I was teaching them classical music. Because we use the Arban and, and you know, right. and Saint Jacob and all those right. regular books. And uh, my reply was, excuse me, do you, in this book here, do you see written or implying, implied, and any form, any genre or style of music, because I, I don't see that. I see here urban, trumpet, book, period. Right. Learn to play that thing correctly with a good sound and, uh, and you know. And later on, we're gonna be able to start to think and talk about different style of music. But you need that kind of preparation first because otherwise you're gonna be based on what? Mm. And then you're gonna be struggling with limitation and frustration. Mm. And the people want the shortcut. When I'm talking, the people want to, they want to sound like Clifford Brown. But you know what Clifford Brown practice? Arban. You know what? Maurice Andre practice urban and um, Clifford Hero, you know who he was? Rafael Mendes. Really? Oh, wow. He was fanatic of Rafael Mendes. 